All right, what is up, YouTube? I'm Cofordy here. We are in top four. Josh is probably gonna win locals, but uh, what's up, guys? We have what? What? What is this monstrosity? We're playing Pendulum Magician's Post Ban List. Um, I really like the deck, and I think the deck has the highest ceiling moving forward still. So I believe it's still an optimal deck that I should be playing, and I want to adventure with. And I've been playing quite heavily this week. Uh, I, I know you're not playing Duelist Alliance. I am not playing Duelist Alliance anymore. Uh, I don't think Duelist Alliance is that crazy great not being able to get double iris or plus engine like it reads search luster which i think luster is lackluster in the deck to begin with mm -hmm. i don't play luster on um, so it literally or i'd get me a star pendulum graph which that's good but it's not really great on its own and then time pendulum graph i think is too slow for the format um i don't want car i don't need any more cards going first because my deck is already so good going first but adding cards that I can brick on going first, I don't believe is correct right now. I could be wrong if the format ends up being slower. But usually just ending on um, Deco Talk, um, Deco Talk or Vortex and um, Tornado Dragon is strong enough to win me almost all my games. But this is the list that I came up with. Um, since I'm not playing the Alliance Engine, I actually get more room to play hand traps. So I'm playing three Ash, three Valor. Uh, Valor I think is the best hand trap right now going second. Like, Flat out the best hand trap going second or first. I really like it in the mirror. I'm um, hitting Electrum's pretty devastating. Ash is more flexible though. You, you don't like Ogre over Valor? I like Valor over Ogre right now. Um, stopping the Astrograph from going to the extra deck is really critical. Um, Ash I like because it's so versatile. Um, it punishes 60 card grass decks that I absolutely can't stand getting grassed for like 30. And you said going second is really bad for you too, right? Yeah. So I optimize, I definitely try to play as many of the best hand traps and versatiles, I believe. Um, Ash, I think, is just super good because the trick starter matchup, it's a lot better. And Valor's not awful if you pay the Candina. I mean, you get blown out if they have Lycoris, but this card's not going to get any more value than that matchup. Yeah, that's true. All right. Um, for my one, I'm playing one. How, how do you feel about one? I love this? Curtain Razor at one. Um, it's not good after turn one, really, special summoning it, but... But what do you mean? If you top deck it, it's 2200. It's 2200, <laughs> but... I should have scales. Like, it's a really good one of high scale. Um, I thought about cupping it to two, but it's a good one of. For my magicians, for my magicians, I play two of. Oh, super solid at two. I like having the second one because if you peg one on desires, having one to recur monsters from the extra super yeah. strong. Um, getting it off of Astrograph is good too. Uh, two black thing. I actually want to move this up to three, and I'll show you what I'm going to cut later. I'm going to cut first, but this card's really good against Rogue. It's just such a versatile card. And just being another Pendulum monster is solid. Uh, three Harmonizing. Yeah, you don't Pretty know. brainless there. Uh, three Wizzy. How are you feeling about this? I love Wilson I. Wilson I is the best guy. I mean, he triggers Astrograph. He goes all around. I heard Durant complaining about opening up two of these and doesn't seem that good right now. Uh, you take what you can get. Yeah. Three Purple Poison. He's still really good. And then for the engines, I play the Time Gazer with the Chromo guy. Uh, super good. You pop him in your scale, summon him from your deck or hand. Like, he's super good. Like, we needed a self replacement engine. So. Yeah, like he just places the engine. And this makes on Narito. Okay. So that's really good. Uh, Stargazer with. So, Triple Astrograph. How are you feeling about this? Because a lot of people have had different opinions about this all week. Um, it's good. It's not bad. Like, it gives me another summon extender so I can make um, Electrum without Pendulum summoning. And, like, it's not bad. Like, at base, this thing's just a level of level one match. Pendulum scale. Like, yeah. and the deck lacks lows. So, uh, and then I'm playing the Dark Worm engine. This engine is fantastic being able to get you. Uh, Gate zero, like all it does is get you a zero scale, and it's like a skull crowbat. So why do you want to cut foolish burial? Um, when you're maximizing. Why do I want to play cut foolish burial? Foolish burial, I actually never really appreciated it because it put me all in on Electrum. Like foolishing this for this yeah. sounds good in theory, but it puts you really fragile to being blown out by um, cherries if they. Cherry's Electrum, like, it doesn't add anything, and this also just gives you another point where it's like... Well, I mean, isn't your deck kind of just the purpose of trying to get into Electrum? Trying to go in first, going to Electrum, yeah. but I think that this would rather be a third Black Fang. It's just a lot. I feel like it'd be something worth testing. Um, one upstart, I want to be the most consistent going first deck I can be. Uh, I play three Desires, because I want to draw, and I need every plus. Uh, this is another one. Uh, you you said can go to two. 
Well, you also said like you don't really have much of a. You mm -hmm. really don't have it. A, you have to play this. Now. Yeah. You need a plus one. Three wavering because I think the mirror will be prominent and sighted out going against anything else. But in the mirror, this card's the nuts. It, it's just shit everywhere else. Oh, uh, my side deck though. Okay, let's, let's get some reasoning on this here. All right. Two raw. My package for going second against the mirror right now is three reaper, two raw. Um, the raw is super absurd because the most common board we found us making were deep, was Deco Talker, Tornado, Vortex, mm -hmm. and this completely cleans it up. Yeah. And raw is also really good against desk box that I play against locally, but. Cherries is super good because once they go in all on an Electrum, you just blow them out. Blow them out because a lot of people won't Pendulum Summon and they won't look at their levels and think about it too much if they're just going to link with it to Electrum. So occasionally you can punish people for summoning the three guy back. And once again, is, do you think this is mandatory now? I do think the Raw is mandatory. Like, I was on the board with Kaijus, but Kaijus weren't just enough. Like, ending on Deco Talker is oddly really good in the mirror. And you really don't care about your normal summon no. as much in this day. You don't because. You're not going to play that game before if you leave Vortex Tornado. Like, okay. You're playing a game that you weren't going to play. One Judgment, three Barrier. Um, barrier is absurd in the mirror going first. Absolutely fantastic card going first. A judgment I'm not sold on, honestly. Paying half your life is actually quite a cost in this Such game. a good card against Trick Stars. I it's hate. such a good card. No, it's terrible. I, I know, I know. No, like, Judgment's alright. It's not... I think I'm going to cut it, actually. Uh, three evenly, it reads, don't play a trap dot deck if you can't answer evenly. Um, it punishes people for playing Paleo. <laughs> three solemn strike. It's really good in the mirror because as me and my friend progressed in the mirror, we realized that if you get Valored or you get um, timely hit by a Reaper, that you can't establish anything and they just pass so that you need something you can set that you can still stop their Pendulum Summon. And this is also really good against players that just summon everything into it. Yeah, especially in, in the earlier the formats mm -hmm. develop. And I noticed a lot of people weren't playing Black Fang, which I think is critical to playing around Strike. Yeah. So if you're not playing Black Fang, they just literally get blown out. All right. Uh, extra. The one of Vortex, the one of Supreme King. He just copies anything. And he's what, what, what do you want to copy with this? Electrum. Oh. Oh, you're right. <laughs> he copies Electrum or anything. Ignister, Omega, Supreme King, Dude Again, Clearwing. He's super awesome. Uh, Baguska, uh, the Dark Rebellion guy, Tornado, like I talked about. Odd eyes, because that's how you get into him. Uh, we're playing an underclock taker because I wanted to. Why? Why? Okay, so after playing the mirror sighted a lot, we ran into the problem that if I got rear raw spear moded and I left one monster, I needed a way to link into something with the raw. Yeah. So I didn't give it back so they could make Deco Talker and summon PS3 or 4 on me. Yeah. And it just gave me something there. Oh, it should be an Arito again, I think. You, okay, so you're going to cut this for yeah. an Arito. Okay. Uh, 3 Electrum. I think 3 is actually necessary in this right now. If, if you have two, can you go for it more budgetly? Yeah, you can go to two. I would never play this deck with one. I would play two. Oh, absolutely not. Because there was a couple cases today I think you were talking about that you could just link into a second yeah. one. And you got to remember, only the draw effect is once per turn. Yeah, only the draw effect is once. So loading up Astrograph is super key. Uh, one Deco Talker, he's okay. the butt. This effect that stops things from getting targeted is critical because people don't realize that like unending, um, not a, like Cosmic Cyclone, Spore Trap Removal, Targets, and you can just use Deco Talker, Tribute, negate it. Okay. Uh, Warren's Cauldred, he's the best rank 4 we have for our deck because he's 3 down arrows. Um, he occasionally gets to get his 3 and 4 effect off, it's not often. I, I don't think that that happens all the time. It doesn't, but he's just the best rank so, 4. Explain this for a few people, how are you achieving this? Um, you use 2 level 7s in this deck, so like... Uh, Gate is also a 7. So I overlay into this guy, and I have Electrum up in my scale, up in my link zone. Mm -hmm. You link these two, so you have Electrum and this. Yeah. Link these guys up, yeah. wherever my decode is. Uh, trigger Vortex. Okay. So that is how you go from any two level sevens and an Electrum gets you a Deco Talker Vortex. Okay. So that gets you a free negate, and you usually can end on the tornado, like I said. Okay. He's he's putting it in. He's 
uh, putting in over uh, underclock taker. Um, why not more copies of this? Um, believe it or not, this card's not that great. Drawing this card just feels bad. Um, I wanted to play two for a while, but at the end of the day, it's not a magician, and a lot of my deck needed to synergize. Like, my Wilson and I suck without having magicians in my scales. So, like, I don't want to have a five, so I need to have a magician for sure. And same with triggering Hove Dragon. And a lot of these guys, like your Garnets, mm -hmm. only work if you have another Magician. So like, you have to have them live. So if you don't have them live, like your Garnets, these don't become real scales. And that's a oh. huge problem. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, and also, drawing two of this felt so bad that I'm just like, huh. Oh. And I mean, you take the risk that you can't get off of Desires. Yeah. But I mean, at worst B, this is still a scale zero. Like, it doesn't have that high of a ceiling, but it also doesn't go that low. So, it's just one of those cards I like. Any uh, final comments? Oh, no, I can't think of anything about the deck. I'm playing it at Indy this weekend. I'll be playing something similar to this. Shout out to Darren. Shout out to Darren Schumacher for testing with me quite a bit. It's been a grind going to Atlanta. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we're out. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.